Welcome back to Great Day SA. You know, everyone knows that hosting the holidays can take your stress level from zero to 60 real quick. But worry not. Joining me this morning is Sharon Schweitzer. She's a modern manners expert, and she's going to share with us some strategic secrets that will have you enjoying the party just as much as your guests. Good morning, Sharon. Welcome to Great Day SA. Thank you. All right, so first of all, what is the most important thing we need to think about when it comes to hosting a big party which the biggest one right now is coming up is Thanksgiving. That's right, it is. One of the most important things that you can do is preparation. When you have really good preparation, it prevents poor performance. The so five P's. That's I love right, it. five P's. So what you want to do is make sure that as a host or hostess, you prepare properly. And what you can do is do things like set your table in advance, make sure you have everything out, know how many courses you're going to serve. So here we have a two piece, two forks, two knives, and a dessert course. So this is beautiful. Okay, so we've got, this is for the dessert. We've got the, this one, so we start from the outside and work our way in, That's right? That's right. I remember that from Titanic, guys. <laughs> so we start, we've got, this is the salad and then our main meals. And then what are the two knives for? The salad knife. The salad knife. And then the dinner knife. Okay, and then we have this glass, which is this one's for? Well, it depends on your guest. Okay. So y your guest may want uh, ice water or iced tea. Then you may have a guest that wants wine. And if the guest doesn't want wine, yeah. they can fill it with anything else they like, maybe Sprite or a soft drink. Give them the option. Right, or iced tea and water. Okay. And now, Sharon, you also talk about how important it is to have smooth conversation. Yes. Tell us about that. Smooth conversation is really important and that is the number two thing mm -hmm. that a host or hostess can prepare for. And there are so many wonderful things that you have right now that you can choose from. We have Nobel Prize winners. So you can take a look at that list and look at all the different categories. You can take a look at who are some of the winners that were Hispanics. So you can take a look at who were the U.S. winners. And that is a great conversation topic and quiz the table. That's And that's really interesting because I never would have thought that you have to prepare for a conversation, but it really does get you know the party going and especially when you talk about things that everyone has in common like movies that's right you can talk about movies you can talk about best-selling books either on Barnes & Noble the New York mm -hmm. Times or you can look at what your local bookstore has for the staff's picks okay. what these things do is help prevent a rogue guest from getting on a political rant or talking about something like climate change at the table whenever you're gonna have all these differing opinions and as a host or hostess you put all this time into making a wonderful dinner yeah. and it turns tragic and that's important that brings us to our next point because we we all have different kind of guests, especially when it comes to our mm -hmm. family members. So we've got the rogue guest, the one that likes to talk politics. What do you do there? How do you prepare for something like that? Well, one of the best things you can do is seat strategically. Let's mm -hmm. say you do have a guest and you know that they're going to do that. Mm -hmm. You want to seat that guest next to you or next to your co-host. Because what you can do then there is kind of gently steer the conversation in another direction. Mm -hmm. And say something like, thank you so much for that comment. And why don't we talk, go ahead and talk again about that movie. Wasn't that interesting that only the brave that movie That way about you can control, you know, avoid getting those conversations. And another one that I thought was really interesting that you may share was your couples, the married couples. I would naturally think, oh, sit, seat them together. But no, why is that? That's right, because longtime couples, married uh, partners, they have stories, their go-to stories, mm -hmm. and they are going to share those stories over and over. And as married couples, sometimes we tend to turn and say, oh, here he goes again, or this is number 47. And, you know, we don't want to do that to each other. So if you split the married couples further away from each other, we don't. We have a tendency not to do that because I don't like doing that to my husband. No, He's got this is so good, stories. Sharon, because I do that to my husband. He's like, oh, I'm going to bring another one of my stories. And it's just, you know, because we know, but keep them separated. And then we have the high-maintenance guest. Oh, yes, the prima donna the who prima wants donna. to be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. What do we do with the one that wants to be the center of attention? Well, you seat that one next to you or a co-host also because mm -hmm. that one is one that you want to make sure that you have control of. The other thing you can do is someone who's an extrovert who just chats, chats, chats. You can mm -hmm. seat that guest next to an introvert who really just wants to listen all night, and that particular guest doesn't want to stop talking and so the <laughs> introvert is just so happy because that introvert doesn't have to talk either yes I love it this is so this is such useful information especially now with the holidays coming up so we really appreciate mm -hmm. these wonderful tips and especially how to also 
seat your guests and set your table and even strike conversation. So thank you so much, Sharon. We appreciate your tips. It's my pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, Sharon is offering etiquette lessons. You can. She's located at 111 Congress Avenue Street at number 400, Austin, Texas. If you'd like more information, give her a call. Her number is 512-306-1845. You can also visit her website at SharonSweitzer.com. Thank you, Sharon, again. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. All right, everyone, coming up, are you craving a burger? How about a turducken burger? What's that? Ooh. We're going to find out after the break. Sounds good, right? It does. Sounds delicious. <laughs> a turducken burger. Turducken burger.